made this box out of one solid piece of spalted maple. My neighbor cut down a couple of silver maple trees and gave me several chunks of that wood. I let it sit around for a while and since I live in a very humid region, the wood spalted. In order to get this shape box, I cut a cross section from a log, as you can see in this left hand drawing. The right hand drawing shows that cross section flipped on its face. I cut that directly in half. This is a similar shaped piece that I'm going to try and describe how I actually made this box. First of all, you get your basic shape of the box. Then you slice off one section of it, and that becomes the top. Then you flip this piece on its side and you cut out the center part of the box. Yes, you have a little split that you have to glue up later, but you cut out that center piece and you leave whatever, half inch hole, whatever. Then that piece that you've removed from the center, you again take a slice off the back of that and that becomes the bottom of the box and is inset inside the cavity of the round that you just freed from this shape. That process is basically how you make a bandsaw box. This is the actual piece that was left over after I've carved out the box using the description I previously gave. But you'll see in the images to come how uh, I could probably make another box out of this thing in time, but that, that I'll decide to do later. It'll be much smaller though. This right here is what was left. This is the outside. That's the top piece I cut off first. Then I cut out that hole from that piece you just saw and off of that chunk I made that chunk right there, I made the back, and that's the back right there. That is inset, and it's all one continuous piece of wood, so it maintains its flow. Well, this is the final piece, and I was going to put a hinge on the back, and I decided against it because I had this really cool chunk of resin that has green perlex and some other bronzy colors in it. I just thought it was real pretty and I thought it would go well with the box itself. And I took another piece off of that interior chunk that I had left over and I put it on the bottom to secure the top. And I didn't finish it at all. I just left it. I like that um, contrast too in the underside and the box itself. The next few images are photos that I've taken in my studio. They're more identifying. You can see the details in the wood and the texture. I'm real happy with the way this piece turned out. I add some links in the information below if you're interested. I hope you like this video of my spalted maple continuous, uh, continuous wood uh, box with a resin top. I'm hoping that you will subscribe or like or thumbs up or whatever it is that will help me and support me. And encourage me to keep making more of these videos. Let me know. I'm really new at this so I'm trying hard to make this work and make it entertaining and people always ask me how I do things so I thought I just finally decided to make it live on YouTube and so people can really see and that then they'll know that I'm actually doing this stuff when they see me at a show or wherever. So if you do like me, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of my stuff, you can see it at mhstudios.com or you can go to my Etsy site at mhstudiosmelanie. Again, thanks so much for watching.